Happy Friday, Toku Nation! Hello, we made it! We're back with your random, boring, <laughs> random Toku Week in Review. We are back to the set, we're back to the lights, which makes my eyes all squinty. We're back to the, the normalized background of everything. What's up, guys? Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here through the, the three weeks of sickness and everything. The Toku Week in Review is here. We have got a crap ton of news today. I am, I'm fully telling you, I might actually give you a little less details than normal because I want to try to keep it around the same time. But we are track full information, not just Geo. We've got stuff, uh, the, the new, the game, Climax Scramble. We've got toy news. Of course, we've got toy news. Decade tries to kill everyone or doesn't. I don't know. I'm really behind in the show. Ultraman stuff, of course, and a different tokusatsu that you've probably never seen before, which is now being subbed. Ooh, for the people who like to watch obscure toku that aren't we just living in the golden age of that where we're like hey you want to watch this obscure toku from the 70s that we've randomly subbed thank you i don't know this has been weird the toku weekend review is going to go ahead and start grab a drink guys let's do this oh we're going to start with geo because we've got to start with geo another watch of volume two has got an update remember when it came out before but there were some mystery plays because you can't just release a toy now you have to pre and you hype and you hype, um, it's going to be another Ghost and another Kuga. Gaim, Double, Deno, and O's were the ones that were already released, so add Ghost and a Kuga to that. It's going to be about 3,600 yen. It's coming out in May 2019. Quick other toy news, we did get the official images for Kuga and Double Ride Watch. We got the official images for the Decade Armor, for the Geo Armor, and the Kiva armor so if you want to go see all the images of those check out the links below there's just a lot of little stuff release dates costs and everything are going to be included geo's day one free content upgrade has been revealed it's going to be double armor as seen in the new movie the second update is not known yet but there's going to be two there's the day one and then you're going to get another character later on for another update i am just going to throw a spit in the wind here and say it's probably going to be the third writer from geo but we shall see but you will get that for free uh get in if you want to get it it's uh available not only in japan but it's in the southeast market so it does have english subtitles if you would like to get it you can go ahead and get it now and start playing that sounds that sounds awesome i i would like it i just don't have it in ra uh, ranger news in general you know what i'm leaving that one in in writer news in general tokusatsunetwork.com as always has a month roundup just the december common rider toy roundup it goes over all the toys that are going to be coming out in the month of december as well as pictures and prices and everything great great resource tokusatsu network thank you so much for that i hate having to tell you about this because it's just it's it's gone but the uh dx common rider decade Neo Deca Driver. It was up and it was gone very, very quickly. It was up for pre-order. I'm pretty sure from what I've been reading is that there is going to be another run, but it hasn't came out yet. So if you are interested in the Neo Deca Driver, which is going to have the sounds, everything from all of the Heisei writers, get in on it now. Check the links, start the Twitter following, whatever you got to do. It's currently scheduled for a release in 2019 in March. March is very early. This is, it's gonna be, you know, it's a driver, it's an updated form, it's gonna be a good one. It's a DX, I don't know, 10,000 yen. That was way off. In fact, it's actually only 9,200 yen, so eh, probably about $85 or so. If you're interested in it, get some information on it now. It's going to be including everything. It includes uh, common ride and final attack ride cards for all Heisei riders. And also, and of course, includes all the old ones as well. Because if they didn't include, I mean, that would just be silly. Right? In exciting news that is common rider related but also related to another one of my absolute favorite things common rider drives ryoma takeuchi is going to be doing the voice in detective pikachu not pikachu's partner tim goodson i should have said that one first but we don't know who's going to be pikachu yet if it was the voice of mr belt i would i would fall over it would be amazing someone please video if that is the thing and i will fall over for you so 
I am it just, I'm really excited because I love Pokemon. I'm really excited to see Detective Pikachu and the fact that Kamen Rider, I mean, he was a detective, he was a policeman, and that like, he was good at it, and the fact that he's gonna do this voice, it just, it makes me happy, okay? It's just, just deep down, it, it makes me happen, it makes me feel all the feels. Moving on, Lupin Ranger versus Pack Ranger, not much, because we just, it's been a, it's been a barren wasteland of news for that show for a while, but we are going to be getting the Swing Collection, the pretty, the really cute Key change. There's going to be two different sets. Each set's going to be 4,200 yen coming out in March. You have the Path Ranger ones or you have the Lupin Ranger ones. It has them both in and out of suit in each set. So, 4,200 yen in March and uh, the two separate sets if you want Pot Rangers and the Lupin Rangers. If you want to get into other Sentai news, uh, Time Ranger is now available to be streamed legally from Shout TV. Check out the links if you want to go see them. And they also have Gal Ranger, which is coming out. That is so the, the Power Ranger equivalent was Wild Force, but Gal Ranger is coming out on December 18th, so not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday it's coming out. I'll have a link below. Um, if you want to get in on your pre-order, get it in and start price watching. I have, I'll be honest with you guys, usually I see some deals on these DVD sets before they get released, and I'm not saying they're amazing deals because they're normally like, what, $59.99 when they first release, but sometimes I'll see, you know, $52, $49, something like that. I've not been seeing a lot of them, so... Keep an eye on it if you want to find a deal, but I and it's also to be fair, Shout Factory has not announced the next one. Fingers crossed, when Gal Ranger uh, releases, they will move on to the next one. That's uh, Hurricane, right? Yeah, yeah, Hurricane, and that yeah, I've actually I've heard that the subbing of that one is tough for some reason. Um, I think it's been done, but I've heard it was really tough. At any rate, Shell Factory, come on, give us more Sentai. Give us more Sentai. Oh, uh, let's just move to Ultraman, because I'm saying more Sentai. Ultraman! I've, remember that time I watched Ultraman Room for the first episode, and I was like, this is kind of cool. And then life kicked me in the butt, and I'm like, I've never watched another episode. Sorry, Ultraman fans. It looked neat. I just, um, I'm already five episodes behind on everything else as it is. Let's move to Happy Ultraman News. Ultraman New Generation Chronicle has been announced. So, similar to the Ultraman Zeo Chronicle, it's going to be the Ultraman Orb the Chronicle, and I'm, I'm not familiar with this one, so let me just go by this. The series will feature best episode selections from the Ultraman series, new generation era of heroes, which started in Ultraman Ginga until present. Um, that was about it on it, so sorry guys, but if you're an Ultraman fan and you want to be like, ah, Liz, learn more, just, you know, just let me know. But Ultraman news, there you go. Speaking of Ultraman, Ultraman Select, the movie, The Crystal of Bond, uh, the details have been revealed along with a mysterious new Ultraman named Tragear. Hmm. To find out more information, check out the links below. It's coming out on March 8th in Japan. If you want the Luminous Premium Ultraman, I, I think we talked about it, but maybe we didn't have images before, something like that. We did get a little more information. Uh, it's going to be 4,900 yen coming out in March. If you want the full thing, 115 millimeters tall. Check out the links if you want to see more than just a photo. Then Odd Toku that I was telling you about, Big Nova and Metallic Fan Subs, Go out and release Seiyun Kamen Machine Man. I'm just gonna, it translates as Nebula Mask Machine Man. It lasted for 36 episodes and is popular among older Filipino and Brazilian Tokusatsu fans. The series was part of their childhood. Woo! So they're just gonna do in uh, two 18 episode batches. First batch for episodes 1 through 18 is out. Check out the links if you want to get on it. Last bit of news belongs to our reptilian overlord, Godzilla. Uh, SH Monster Arts has been revealed for these pictures are just... I mean, I don't watch them, but I'd like to think I can appreciate a good figure in something that big and the detail. Gorgeous, absolutely. And these are the ones, don't forget, that are made in next year's new uh, Godzilla King of Monsters movie that's coming out. So these are the designs for them. They, I mean, they look really good. Just, should I, I mean, I, sh I should probably watch the new Godzilla movie, right? I watched Godzilla when I was, I was probably too young for it, and it scared the crap out of me. And I don't know why I don't rewatch watch it, because I watch Toku now all the time, but you know what? 
that's a childhood trauma that we are not gonna talk about today. Let me, let me grab, this is leftover from the Ranger Week in Review, it's actually gone now. Feels good to be back in front of the camera. Uh, if you guys are also Ranger fans, or if you just want to pretend it's, it's some time doing a thing on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and stuff called the 12 Days of Rangers, it might be fun if you want to participate in it. I'm sure that most of them have a one-to-one -one relation. If you want to do Sentai, Rider might be a little more difficult, but it is out there. And if you're a fan of Morph videos, oh, you should check out Chris Cantata's new video on the Forever Morph series, Yellowfellow. Because I am in it in my Gokai yellow cosplay, I get to do a morph. I do it in the, uh, I'm in my civilian, so Super Mega Force Gia cosplay, and I morph into my suit. It's absolutely amazing. Go give some love to him. Uh, it took a while. It was, I mean, admittedly, it was Sunday morning, bright and early, and at Power Morphicon, the Saturday night is usually the party night, and it was prom and everything. And my alarm went off at like 6.15 to get ready for this morph video. Oh my gosh, it was, but it was so much fun. So go give it a look, go give it some love. I am, uh, I'm just hyped to be back, guys. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out, I really appreciate it. My name is Ranger Liz, come back every Friday for more Tokusatsu news for your world and a little entertainment with a silly, weird little host on the side. My name is Ranger Liz, thank you for joining me. I'll see you at the next video. Bye! My wrist is popping.